Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I'm working on this Holly One Barrel 1904 uh, carburetor, and uh, one of the common problems with it is that the uh, uh, float bowl le uh, leaks around the uh, seal, and that is caused from years of uh, people uh, over tightening the float bowl and whatnot, and it pulls these uh, uh, screw points out of shape, and it warps it, and etc. So. Um, a friend of mine who has been in business for a long time uh, told me about this trick and it seems to work pretty good. Anyway, what we're going to do is straighten out this main body uh, so that we don't have to deal with the leak. And so if you get your carburetor all tore apart, uh, we're going to use a torch. Now you can use a propane torch if you want. I happen to have a acetylene torch here. and. Um, uh, before I start it because it's going to mess up and make be noisy. What we're going to do is uh, is I put a flat piece of stock here uh, to get so I have a nice flat surface for it uh, up against and I, I got it in the vise here as you can see. I put a little bit of pressure on it, not a whole lot. And what we're going to do is just heat it around here, all around here and uh, uh, you, you may not be able to see it on the uh, video but what it'll do is it'll actually uh, uh, change the shape of the body and uh, it, it'll become flat so it'll just kind of suck it right up to the flat surface there uh, be careful because don't get it too hot you'll uh, this is pot metal and it'll melt it just before you know it I know I've done it so you know it doesn't seem to take a lot of heat and uh, I'll get it fired up here like I say a propane one of those little propane torches should work too um, anyway, so I just start heating it up on those four points, and then I uh, put a little bit more pressure on it, and I just kind of watch the bowl here and, until it uh, sucks it up flat. Yeah, see the top's looking real good. Now the bottom, I, I guess see a little gap, so I probably need to raise this up a little. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. Um, hopefully you do anyway. But see, now I have absolutely no gap up here. So it, it actually, it flattened out. It didn't take too much. So uh, there you go. And uh, the float bowl itself generally is not a problem. Uh, but the flatter you can get this surface of the main body, uh, the less trouble you're going to have with leak. Uh, and uh, anyway, so there's a little tip for you that, sh that should uh, help you out. Thank you for watching.